Hello, welcome to another Relax and Paint. And today I was thinking, I'm gonna just, just, just do a painting that I did recently. Um, I just said, I'm gonna paint something for you. You guys kind of watch what's going on and we'll do this um, together. And they were just like, how can you do something that fast? So I want you to see if you just like open your mind and you relax, Take a deep breath and start your day off with some painting. Remember, once a week, you give yourself an hour. The hour is you time to create. I'm still in my studio because well, I'm out of my studio and to my dining room where I'm going to be painting the big painting, which is behind me. But I wanted to stay here just one more time and, and um, set this up for you guys and see what you think, all right? I appreciate you being part of my program, and I want to see what you would like to learn next. Um, it's nice to share with you different concepts. Right now, it might not be a holiday time for you when you watch this, but this is um, getting close to um, December, so we're going to be doing some Christmas fun ideas. I have, I whipped out this little um snowman and i he's just on a simple little dress box for wrapping for the holidays so i did it on paper bags and i also put like gray stripes on the side and did this fun little snowman really quick and i have uh, some of these lessons like this online um on onestroke.com and i also show you lots of stuff that's going on if you go to donna dewberry's official one star group okay so i am um bright and awake this morning i'm being a little bit louder than i should be but um i usually am quiet but i'm kind of excited today to do what i'm gonna do with you so i know that um you might figure it out pretty quick what i'm going to be drawing but i'm going to go to the overhead camera and pull it over and get it ready and we are going to start in just a minute so let's start all right, I'm going to overhead and I'm going to be on a piece of scrapbook so I don't have to scrapbook it, paper, so I don't have to base coat it. But I want just with a piece of chalk to share with you some quick and easy layout here. I'm going, it depends on what size I want to put this on, but I'm going to do a face. I'm going to put a hat on it. And this is going to give it away. Of course, it could be an elf, but not really, right? <laughs> so I'm going to come down here and do a fun beard. Oops, you don't see it. There we go. There. All right. A little bit further. All right. So. I'm going to start here and I'm just going to use my three quarter inch flat brush and I've already dampened it. I'm going to come in here and put some skin color. All right, so I'm just taking one area. It can be a round area. The size of what I want to put it on, whether I do it on an ornament or a candle or a glass face or a box like a gift box greeting card. Think of what you can do it on. So there is going to be the face, and I'm going to let that dry while I'm doing everything else, okay? So I'm going to put an apple red. That was uh, um, clay bisque, and these are all multi-surface colors, all right, which means it goes on glass, metal, ceramic, outdoor, indoor, all right? This is light flesh. I thought it was clay bisque. I think they've changed it to clay bisque, but maybe it's light flesh. All right, so... I've got apple red, and I'm going to come in here and paint. The apple red is going to be a lighter, brighter color, and then I'm going to use another color to, to shade it with, okay, to get some wrinkles in it. Now, I have taken and made this a buffalo plaid cap with some black checks on it, but we're going to start out just like this. Now, let me show you. This is the apple red. Now look what happens. I'm gonna come here 
with the red and side load berry wine. That's one of my colors. All right, so I'm going to go back and forth, and that's called side loading. So I have the apple red, and I'm just working the side of my brush into the darker color. All right, so now what I do, especially on this background, this would bring in the, out, the color in the background into the painting. So it's kind of shiny, so I'm going to bring it up. All right, so I'm going to go get some more. And I'm going to do a wrinkle like the hats, the tassel hats falling over. All right. So see, it automatically gives you shading just by adding both colors on there. Okay. Now there's a little speck that fell in there, but I'm going to leave it for now. Now I can't put the white here because that's so wet, but I can come down here. I'm washing all this off and I'm picking up the beard. All right, so I'm going to come right along here and right along here and get my first coat on his beard. Isn't this kind of fun? I'm just showing you how you can kind of freehand it. You don't even have to draw this. If you do a circle, it might be easier to lay out how the hat's going to go. It just is a dome and then you lay some falling over. All right. So I cut a base coat. Now one thing that looks really good, see how I'm swirling the beard? If it's got um, a shape and the, a color in the background, this stands out a little better. All right, are y'all with me? You can stop me and replay it, remember? All right, I'm gonna have a little curl all right, now I'm going to put out just a teeny bit of licorice because I don't have gray here because I want to show you. You can make the beard either a gray tone or you can use some coffee latte with it. But the first thing I want to do here is um, get my 12. All right, and there's a couple of colors I want to bring in here. Now, I've got that little speck there. I don't know where that came from. So let me show you what I do. I put the flesh and I get a teeny, ooh, that's a lot. All right, I'm going to take some of that off. So I want a little bit of red. And that's going to come right here for his nose. All right, so it's better if you let this dry, but I don't have time. So I want to pick up a little bit more and do that again because I have flesh in here. All right, I could get the blow dryer and blow it, but I'm just going to keep going. All right, then I can wipe that off and add a teeny bit. Watch this, a little bit of a cheek. So I wanted the nose a little bit more, and then the cheek has the bisque and the red again, but just a little bit, okay? All right, now I do need to come in a little bit more. Go back to that red. And right in here will be his lip. Okay, so I can also take that wine color again. So you see where his lips would be. So that was all pretty easy. You just have a nose. You can even use a dauber for the cheeks and a smaller dauber for the nose and the lip. All right, but now what I'm going to do is I could take my little script liner with some white and I could decide that my mustache is going to come right here on this side and right here. See the nose and the cheeks are going to make that happen. Can you see that a little bit? Let me come down a little bit more. All right, so his mustache is going to come down over the lips. And see, I'm just using my liner, my two script liner. There we go. Now, I like to use a rake brush or a fan brush. And we're going to grab this rake brush. And it's got little bristles that half of them, you can see now that I'm over the white. Those right there are 
it's like they've chopped off these and those are hanging out and that's really fun to make a little bit of this beard so look i'm going to touch a teeny bit of licorice oh that's a lot of licorice so let's go over here and i'm going to wipe that off and then i'm going to work with this okay so look i'm going to take and go like here for the hair now you're barely touching this. Look, I touch and then I rake it. It's a feather or a rake brush. Some it's called different things. All right. Now having that gray there is going to help it as we're working. All right. So I can come right in here. Now it doesn't show well, so I'm going to go back and get pure white. See that? And I like to have a little bit going out. I, I still want to come down a little bit more so you're seeing this. Look, I'm going to put it right here so you can see me go into it. I'm going to get a little bit of just white. Now, first of all, this isn't showing. Oh, 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 oh. This isn't showing well, so let me show you what I'm going to do. First of all, I'm going to clean that out and work that in okay so let's get a bunch of this gray let me show you what happens when we put more gray here you don't know till you work on it depends on what colors of the background so if i put gray here what i found out is that i can just rake a little bit of white here and it looks pretty amazing okay now <clears throat> now let's get into the white and now i barely brush those bristles see that now let's come over here i can even brush it onto his face a little bit over here or a little bit out Isn't that kind of fluffy now, just this alone will make your piece look really wonderful. Having just a few little curls. See, I like to curl it up. See, I keep getting the white. And just make sure, like if I come here, look, I can make it curl up both ways. This way and this way. Look how, how fun that makes the beard look. All right, so there's all kinds of shapes of beard you can do. See how I put a curl in there or no curl. You can have it more, more straight pulled down. Or look at this, little strokes on here. But see how the gray helped that show good? All right, so it's got all kinds of fluff. All right, now I'm going to go over this. It'll be darker gray underneath because it would be showing you the shadow of the mustache. Okay. Not good. And I could come right under here. So what I did was I touched and pulled, touched and pulled. Oops, I'm trying not to get that pink. <laughs> okay, let's go straight underneath here. All right, now I'm gonna come in here. A little bit more of that gray, remember? He's got a few curls or not much. Okay, one of the two. <laughs> All right, then I have a scruffy brush. No idea. There we go. See that scruffy? And that's natural hairs. Most everything I'm using is synthetic, but that. All right, now I'm going to take and use some licorice. 
See right here, this is my two script liner with a little bit of licorice. I'm going to hold my little finger there and I'm gonna tap, 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 kind of like a triangle. Make sure I get that on both sides. Okay, so let's see where I want it. Then I'm gonna tap and cover almost all of it up, but I don't want it perfect. Don't make a line for a triangle, just tap it kind of in the shape of one. A little bit down here, cause it's sitting right on top of the cheeks. All right, and then I can put a few little few little lashes here. All right, now I'm going to wash that out. Are you with me still? Remember you could stop and I'm going to put two little dots, a big one and a little one on both sides. All right, you can even put a little slash on his nose or a little slash on his lips, all right? And guess how we're gonna finish it. You could put holly or pine needles or something on here. Sometimes I shade his flesh under his hair with a little bit of coffee latte so that he looks like it's more shaded. And then I'm gonna come in here and maybe do this all white because I have, yeah, I'll let that dry all white since I have so much gray in the hair all right and then in the pom-pom in the Santa cap but what do you think about that and I can put teeny bits of gray right here to separate the two see that and a little bit of gray along here you separate that a little bit. All right, isn't he fun? Very quick and easy. Now we can put a little holly, a little bit of holly if you want to. I'm gonna use that 12. And I have some green I'm gonna use. All right, so I like to put a little bit of, oops. Guess what I have here, water. Okay, so I want you, as you're trying to make your little Santa, to take a deep breath and say, oh, she made that look really easy. And most of all, I didn't stress over it, okay? So when we do Holly, you can do it smooth, or you can put a little bit of layer to it. So watch this. I can go up, push down, up, push down, up, and turn it around. Up, up, go to the point. All right, so, and if my holly is not perfect, I'm going to come in here and do a few pine needles. a little bit. So this is sap green and a little bit of citrus green. All right. So I'm not happy with this because it picked up so much white. So look, I just go back over it. All right, so what's going to make this look good is I'm going to take the handle of the brush, and it's a big handle, so I'm going to make three big berries, and one little, one little teeny highlight with white right here, and here, and here, and we have a fun little Santa. All right. Now you saw, I would go repounce over that where it got red, where the red's there. But you saw it has shading, has a face. Look how pretty the beard is with that rake brush. All right. And you can find all these supplies. Go check out onestroke.com. 
for all your needs and for more lessons. And please write and let me know what you want to see next. This is for Christmas or getting ready for Christmas or even if it's after the season, practice how quick and easy you can make elves or gnomes or all kinds of fun little holiday um, features like this. I even use this on bunny rabbits for Easter. All right, and I'll see you next time. Take a deep breath, relax, and paint.